Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using this stamp set from uh, The Greeting Farm. The stamp set is called Scaredy Cats. And I'm going to use this circle die from Simon Says Stamps nested circle die set to cut a bunch of circle masks. I'm using some masking paper from Simon Says Stamp. And I've cut that masking paper to be four and a quarter by five and a half and then cut that circle out of the center, more a little more near the top center. So now I'm going to take off the circle off of this masking paper, and I'm going to apply it directly onto my card base. So there are four cats in that stamp set, and I couldn't resist coloring all four. So I thought I would create four cards for each one of those cats. So I'm scoring my card bases at five and a half. I'm using some Nina Solar White cardstock in the 110 pound weight for my card bases. And I've cut them and scored them to create top folding cards. So after I've prepped all of those card bases, I put the mask on each card and then did some ink blending. I'm going to walk you through all of the ink blending and just so you can see all the different colors that I used. And if you want to know um, or see all the colors written out, I have an image over at my blog that shows which colors were used on which card. So if you have a particular color combination that you love, go ahead and check that out over at my blog. So I've started out with Abandoned Coral on this one, and then I'm moving on to Seedless Preserves, and then I'll finish off with Chipped Sapphire for the actual sky portion of the blending. And I'm making sure that I'm not going above that masking paper onto the back of the card as I do all this blending as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another piece of masking paper. I've just freehand cut a curved line. This is going to create the ground section and I'm just masking off a little below halfway up that circle and then I'll take some black soot distress ink and I'll start blending that on and I want to make sure that the, the ground area is very saturated that it's really dark and that I'm not seeing a ton of color come through. A little bit of color peeking through is okay but not too much. So I'll go ahead and peel up that mask and you can see that it's created a horizon line. And then I'll peel up the larger mask. I was careful with this first one thinking I could maybe reuse it on the others, but then I realized that some of that color that was on the, on the mask would actually blend onto my other uh, cards. So I ended up having to cut three additional masks. So I had four circle masks in total for four cards. For this one, I started out with mustard seed and then moved on to peacock feathers. And then I used some chipped sapphire and then black soot. So I really only changed two of the colors on this combination. I added a yellow and a blue, and this gives it a completely different look. I'll go ahead and add that horizon mask once more and then blend on all of that black soot distress ink. So I'll go ahead and peel up that mask and you can see how different it looks just by changing the color combination. It changes the whole mood of the entire area. So I'm going to once again change up the colors and this time I'm going to add some pinks and purples into the mix. So I'm starting out with picked raspberry and I'm blending all of that on and then I'll switch to wilted violet and then I'll finish off with a little bit of chipped sapphire. So like I did before, I only swapped out two colors. So I'll go ahead and keep blending this out. If any of you were having trouble with your um, blending tools, I did notice that on some of these foams that were brand new, I wasn't able to blend as easily. But for some of the blending foams that I've used a lot, like the black soot, and you like to chip sapphire, those really blend on really easily. So um, if you're having trouble getting colors to blend, keep at it. The more you use that foam, the easier it will be to get some nice blending. So we're moving all of that mask and I'm going on to the third one. Now this third one, I'm planning to use the cat that's on a broom. So I don't need to have that horizon line. The cat's going to be suspended in air like it's flying. So I started out with some mustard seed and then I moved on to carved pumpkin. And now I'm using rusty hinge. 
And I'm going to use just a tiny bit of black soot right at the top just to intensify and darken that top edge, give it a little bit of a uh, more autumn look, kind of burnt look. But if you wanted to leave it at just those three colors, you absolutely could. I just thought it needed a little bit of that black near the top to really give it that moody, uh, moody feel. So I'm um, blending all of that on. And then I'll go ahead and peel up that mask and you'll see that circle all finished. Now, like I said before, I didn't do a horizon line on this one. This one is just the circle and it's going to give me a nice background for that cat that's on a broom. So now I'm going to move on to coloring all of those cats. I've stamped them onto some Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with um, some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, which is a Copic friendly ink. I'm coloring in the open mouths with a Copic multi-liner. And now I'm going to use my Copic markers to do all the coloring. I'm turning on some spooky music and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so now that all of the coloring is done, I'm going to fussy cut all of these cats out with some scissors. I'll first start out with an X-Acto knife, and for this one cat in particular, there are some interior spaces, so I'll go ahead and cut that out with my knife first. Then I'm taking some scissors and very carefully going around those edges. And to finish off these cats, I'm going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black Marker. It has two tips on it. I'm going to use the brush tip, and I'm going to paint the white edges on these images. So you'll notice that I cut out the whiskers even. I just went around that whisker area, and then uh, when I went around with the black marker, it made it look perfect. I knew that these cats were going to be suspended above those backgrounds and I didn't want to lose the whiskers so I thought I'd better cut those out. So now I'm prepping the different sky scenes. I'm using a Uniball Signal Broad white gel pen to draw on some dots and then also some sparkly stars just to give it a little bit more of a whimsical look. So I did this for all of the different circles that I blended and for a couple of them, I added some additional stamping. So for this one, that's going to have the cat dressed up like a bat, I thought it would be fun to use the little bat stamps that are in the stamp set, just to add a little bit of interest on the outside edge. And I also filled in some dots to create stars on this one as well. So I'm going to be adhering um, these cats with mini action wobbles from Art Impressions. There are a couple different companies that have similar action wobblers or action wobbles. Um, Hampton Art has some as well. I'll have that linked down in the video description. I'll link to both. Um, both are 
virtually the same so you could use them. I really like these mini ones because they're already sized down for small images like this. There are the original action wobblers that are larger, but these little ones are really convenient. So I'm just putting that on the back of each of these cats and then straight onto the blended circle. And you can see how it kind of um, jumps and jiggles and moves around once it's adhered. So I'll bend down these cards until they're all folded down. On this one right here, I decided to add some stars at the last minute after I'd already adhered the cat. So I just, I just stamped some outline stars and also some of the solid stars that are in the stamp set. And that will finish off that card. For the inside of all these cards, I stamped Happy Halloween. And then I have my card set. Hope you guys enjoy. These are all fun Halloween cards. I had to fit this Halloween card video in before we move on to the holiday card series, which starts tomorrow. I'm so excited. I hope you guys stick around and see that. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.